This one just kind of seems like an oddball, but because we're coming up to the midterm elections, it's good that this information is out there. Not so much good the fact that they fucked up so tremendously, but it's good that the information is still at least trickling out. The 2020 census was off, off a lot in a bunch of consequential places, but specifically where it happened, does it really seem like it was a mistake or was it coordinated? Let's take a look. Significant miscounts in 14 states, mostly red states, lost congressional seats. Huh. Huh. Because I remember, like, we ran this back when the census first came out and uh, redistricting of a bunch of the different states that were out there. And yes, a bunch of the blue states ended up losing one or two seats. But then there was just some weird, anomalous congressional redistricting, and um, it didn't really add up, okay? Like, there were some states where it's like, okay, uh, like, I can understand New York losing two and California losing two and... But you got other, I think it's like Nebraska ended up losing one. It's like some of this stuff doesn't really check out. And it looks like our inclinations have been proven correct. 2020 census made significant miscounts with population numbers in six states being undercounted. While eight states saw an overcount in population based on data from the recently published U.S. Census Bureau's report. Increasingly, five of the six states where the population was undercounted were red states. Huh. Arkansas, Tennessee, Florida, Mississippi, and Texas. The only blue state was Illinois. But then it's Chicago. Okay, like, or maybe the suburbs, okay? The GTA. See, is that the proper terminology? Between there and the capital. Mm, wonderful, terrific. Of the eight states on the population was overcounted. Six were blue states, with the exception being Utah and battleground state Ohio. On a, when can we fucking take that off the map, okay? It's, it's, they voted for Trump at nearly double-digit clip, okay? But we'll see how it shakes out, okay? What happens with uh, the Senate election? We'll, we'll see. We'll run it back because right now, what is it? They got one Democratic senator, okay? And then it was Rob Portman who was retiring. And then is J.D. Vance running for that seat? I know he's running one of them. I'm pretty sure it's for Ohio. Anyways, getting into the semantics, but... Ohio's red, okay? Ohio's Republican, okay? as long as it's going to remain Trump Republican. I'm tangenting too much, okay? Ohio's not a battleground state, long and short of it. In Arkansas, the population was undercounted by 5.04%. That's not a little fuck up. That's pretty big. Tennessee by, Jesus, just about as much, 4.78%. Mississippi by 4.11%. Florida by 3.48%. Illinois by 1.97%. And Texas by one92 Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, uh, Hawaii, the number of people overcounted was 6.79%. Like, there's not that many people in, in Hawaii, so... Okay, Delaware by 5.45%. Yeah, a lot of them were probably too high and just fucked up and couldn't quite remember how many people lived in their house at the time. Rhode Island by 5.05%. Yeah, you can kind of understand that, right? You're not really quite sure which side of the border you live on. It's the size of a fucking Tic Tac, for Christ's sakes. Minnesota by 3.84%. New York by 3.44%. Utah by 2.59%. Massachusetts by 2.24%. And Ohio by 1.49%. Huh, interesting. For the remaining states and the District of Columbia, the estimated net uh, coverage error rates were significant. Oh, we're not significantly different from zero. Yeah, so statistically irrelevant, okay, within the, the margin of errors. Forgot the term, der. But yeah, no, you'd expect that, but not these huge swings, like 5% undercount. And then, okay, like Hawaii, I'm outside of some of those smaller New England states, okay? I'd imagine Hawaii probably has the smallest population. I got it pulled up on my phone. It's actually the 45 first state when it comes to population size okay they got 1.455271 million people living there interesting but yeah no besides rhode island it's the smallest state by population size that's on there and also probably by geographic size as well looking at the rest of them but anyways no that's that's a big old fuck up okay there are several explanations for the miscounts, according to the AP. Oh my god, here come the fact checkers. Great, wonderful, fantastic. In states like Texas, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Florida, local administrations are believed to have not spent many resources to encourage residents to fill out the census form. In Texas and Florida, not having the resources 
Are you fucking retarded? Or do you think because, oh yeah, all of those are red states, they're still racist and they only count black people as three-fifths of a resident? Like, what are we doing here? Demographer Allison Plyer, oh great, a woman doing math, uh, points out that in states like Tennessee, Mississippi, and Arkansas, the, po or the proportion of homes with a computer and internet subscription is among the lowest. You fill out and mail a census form, you tard. Jesus Christ. No, just make fun of Southerners because they're stupid and they don't have internet. Get fucked. The 2020 census was the first in history in which most participants were encouraged to fill out forms online. Encouraged. Encouraged. You were probably still sent out a fucking booklet, a fucking printout, okay? I know, even here in Canada, and we're not terribly dissimilar on a bunch of different metrics. Still received a fucking census card at my box, okay? So... Note the count efforts can make a big difference even when your community has poor internet access. You know she just wanted to say, even though they're poor and stupid and can't count, internet access and less likely to answer the census, Plyer told the media outlet. Yeah, that's why they would just, you know, send out, hey, just tell us how many people live there. We don't need to know immigration status. We're not trying to send ice to your door. But honestly, if that's the case, why not Alabama? Okay, why, why was Alabama a statistically inconsequential, a, a neutral party? Okay, Oklahoma. Okay, and why weren't more states in the uh, original colonies over calculating okay why didn't new jersey overcount? It's, it's practically the same as new york what's your explanation for that stupid states that suffered from undercounting lost potential congressional seats this is where the problem arises in florida the undercount translates to 750,600 missed citizens pretty consequential don't you say According to an analysis, and that's obviously 750,600 uh, cousin lovers, by election data services, Florida only needed 171,561 more people to get another seat. Similarly, in Texas, where 189,654 more citizens in the census would have helped gain a seat, undercounting led to 560,000 missing residents. Now, they were all too busy out on their cattle farms, or you know what? putting on their Velcro gloves to go hang out with the sheep for a minute. In Minnesota, the overcount resulted in 219,000 additional residents. If the state had 26 fewer people, it would have never won the 300 or the 435th and final congressional seat in the House. Yeah, exactly. And we all know the politics of Minnesota, okay? Or Walter Mondale is still like, well, I didn't get completely blown out. In Rhode Island, a 5% uh, overcount resulted in 55,000 additional residents. If the state had 19,127 fewer people, one seat would have been lost. Again, again. Now you know why they were playing maybe a little bit too fast and loose with some of the counts. John Marion, executive director of the government watchdog group Common Cause Rhode Island, Island, admitted to AP that his state was lucky a beneficiary of statistical anomaly. Oh yeah, no, uh, we're just lucky on that one. Oh, 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 that's all we're going to admit to. But again, this is the AP running cover for the administration. Not something you see every day, just twice a day. As a result, Rhode Island will have more representation in Congress uh, for a decade. <laughs> Ain't that great? Ain't that fucking great? That's no, fine. Republican red states can get ripped off. No, that's fine. But uh, if Democrats benefit from it, what are you going to hear from the media? Fucking nothing. Imagine if the roles were reversed. Imagine if these overcounts were just you know displaced onto other states. Okay. Imagine if Florida. Okay. Oh, in a deep in a deep red portion of Florida, they got an additional seat. What kind of a fucking spurg out you'd be getting right now? But I don't think anybody's taking to the streets right now saying that they're not getting proper representation. It's just, it's, it would be more sad if it could be talked about, if it could be discussed openly on these platforms, like some other documentaries that are released on alternative platforms that uh, may be talking about certain things that uh, happen when you have government documents and uh, certain counting methods that are out there. I think you know what I mean without me directly saying it, but hey, whatever, let's just wrap this up. Meanwhile, Rhode Island Republican Party National Committee, oh, Steve Frias, slammed the aggressive census counting tactics, warning that the count will undermine people's confidence in the administration. Yeah, that's the one count that'll do it. Okay. Democracy only works if people trust the system. Huh. Where was that fire and fucking fervor beforehand? Oh, now you care about it because it actually directly affects you? Hmm. Fucking weird how that shit works, right?
But yeah, we'll see if it goes anywhere. We'll see if the Republicans actually take action on this when they take back the House, okay? In November, oh, but there's some very learned people at MSNBC who think that the Democrats are going to maintain because abortion is such a popular topic. No, the only abortion at the DNC are the people who run it. With all of that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. Why don't you follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.